looked in the West, my experience has been almost always with dances in Colorado. And there, the, the farmer's grange, the rancher's grange, was the social site. And so people would gather once a week or once a month, depending on where you were, uh, to, to socialize, and they would have a dance. And the dance would consist of squares, couple dances, waltzes, polkas, and two steps, and so on, but no contras, none. And the dances that I saw in those Grange dances were visiting couple dances. They were the style of dance that you might find in Texas Star or uh, something like going uptown, going downtown. Simple, very straightforward, simple dances, but they were not choreographed dances. The caller would call what he knew and would put in the things that he felt were appropriate and fun, and each caller had their own repertoire. You might have a couple of callers call on the same evening for those dances. They weren't limited or restricted in that sense. So, um, and in that case, callers could share what they knew with one another. And detecting the sources of the Western Square has been quite a challenge to try to figure out where in the world it came from. But I think it's fairly clear that the Western Square has roots directly to the um, Southern Dance, Southern Square Dance, the big circle and the square from Appalachia mainly. Uh, movement of people <clears throat> into and out of Appalachia suggests that when they left and migrated away from, from their home place, which most younger sons would, would do naturally, they moved south and west from where they were into Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, and brought with them the music and the dance that they knew from home. And the Texas Square and the Colorado dances are essentially the same. Colorado has its own version of the do-si-do. Uh, the Texas version of the do-si-do is simpler, but still has the same hand actions in sequence as the Colorado one, and is very similar to the Georgia Rangtang, Arkansas so Traveler. one person by the one hand and, and yes. your partner by the other hand. Partner left, corner right, partner left. Georgia Rangtang adds one more turn, opposite right, partner left, corner right, partner left. Our Arkansas Traveler is the same way, that's exactly the same as the Georgia Rangtang, just called the Arkansas Traveler. Um, then the mountain style do si -do is, is similar in that it takes two couples. You work with your partner, you loop the partner around you, and then you turn your opposite, and then you turn your partner. So it's, it's, uh, they're all related and very strongly related, and that's one of the key elements in Western traditional square dancing, which you find there of course, in other dances of the South, but never in the New England dance, which is based on the, on the quadrille and similar dances. So to, de to identify the traditional Western square, you look for the do -si do And the figures that are involved with the do -si do the visiting couple figures, uh, or circles and serpentines and stars and arches and that kind of thing. As opposed to ladies chain no, and no rights chains, and lefts. No chains, no rights and lefts. That's right. And very few opposite couple figures until later. <clears throat> now, Shaw was not averse to introducing other sorts of actions into the square dance uh, in addition to the figures that he found and, and knew. People sent him dances, and he would incorporate those if he felt they were good show pieces. So um, later on, the Cheyenne dancers were doing not traditional Western Square. They were doing show dances. So they did, <clears throat> they did right and left throughs and ladies' chains and grand square and 
all kinds of things like that. So, I mean, figures like, oh, I don't know, Cheat or Swing, I mean, something like that, which I learned from Sandy Bradley. Sure. So, so is that coming out, is that one of Shaw's? I don't remember him calling that figure. I, I found that figure quite a bit later from other callers and other places. Sandy Bradley is one of those people who has been calling that dance very successfully, but but I don't think the Shaw dancers ever did Cheat okay. or Swing. They did Adam and Eve, you know, which is a variant, but I don't think they used the terms Cheat or, cheat or Swing. Right. But a lot of the Western figure titles and descriptions are different from from the Southern ones. The Old Barn Door, uh, Lady Round Two and the Gent Fall Through. Uh, in the West, it's Lady Round Two and the Gent Fall Through. In the South, it's the Old Barn Door or something of that sort. <coughs> uh, or the Old Side Door. I'm not sure exactly what they call it. Um, the Chase the Rabbit, Chase the Squirrel figure. We, we usually use Lady Around the Lady and the Gent Fall Low or Lady Around the Lady and the Gent Around the Gent. That would be the Western form of it. Um, so it's not common with, uh, with Chase the Rabbit, Chase the Squirrel. Who are the, the, the Western callers who helped shape the form? Now Bob Summerall, Herb Gregerson, um, um, now I can't think of his name, author of West Texas Squares. Is that Ray Smith? No. no, Ray Smith was a little later. He was influenced by Shaw. Um, Clawson, Jimmy Clawson. He was a very early caller in, in Texas. So he, but he, he was centered in El Paso and West Texas. Which is where Gregerson was. Too. He was also in El Paso and in Ruidoso, New Mexico. <clears throat> but Clawson was before Gregerson. Um, Clawson wrote an early book I'm going to not be able to remember the name of this book. It was 1938 when he published a very small little pamphlet, rather like some of the early things that Summerall did or the stuff that came out of um, 30s Arizona. Um, the figures are all very much the same. Um, and Gregerson uh, took over Clausen's early book and made it into his um, uh, that was published as late as 48. S so those are some of the early callers, and there were many more, uh, but we don't remember them because they didn't either didn't publish a, a book or they went, weren't written up in some newspaper article or something like that, didn't advertise themselves. And then once you get into the war years, World War II years, then you begin developing the more modern Western Square, which grew out of that, the, the traditional, and the figures that we used in the traditional squares soon became, re were replaced by a whole host of newer calls and actions. And, well, then, then, then that's the history of modern Western Square.